Now, we've only got about a minute and a half left. The fact is, again, I don't want this to be an academic discussion sure. for people that say, hey, that's really interesting. I want them to get to the bottom line here. We're giving you these 12 historical facts because they're historical facts that actually happen. Okay, and we have inside and outside sources for all of this. And we've got scholars all around the world in some of those prestigious places saying, yeah, it's true. Now, you can say it's true, and that doesn't mean that you're a Christian. What do they have to do, Gary, between the fact of saying, yeah, those are great historical facts, and yeah, Jesus did all that, and it was true about him, but the fact is, uh, and, and I believe that, but the fact is I'm still not a Christian. Yeah, you know, famous verse there in James chapter 2, the demons believe and tremble, but the demons aren't Christians. So what gets you from believe, which we said earlier, believe is not, I believe strawberry ice cream is the best, and I believe Jesus is on a God. Believe means to take the step of I do, both both in the epistles uh, by John and Peter, it's called walking in his steps. It's a commitment. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. It's a commitment. When you say I do to somebody in marriage, you don't say, oh yeah, I took the step of good works. It's not a good works thing. It's a commitment thing. But a commitment involves things where we call, the men make fun of them, call them honeydews. Um, it's, we know right away that I do involves a lifetime, and that's, what is involved. And I think the reason it's so serious is you can be convinced somebody would make a good person to whom you could be married. In principle, you always have your eyes open if you're single, you know. But saying I do is a very serious matter. I don't just say, oh, that's nice. I say, do I want to settle down and do something? And that's what's involved when you choose to follow Christ. Yeah. Have you said I do to Jesus, meaning I'm yours, I not only believe in you, but because I believe in you, I will live the way you want me to live. And here's the good news, is it's not us doing it in our own power. As you read the New Testament, you'll find out that Jesus gives you the Holy Spirit into your life when you say that and you mean it. And the fact is the Holy Spirit comes into your life and he gives you the strength, the power to start doing the things that Jesus wants you to do. It's miraculous. It's fantastic. It's wonderful. And I invite you to do that.